Hey Golf Pass, Chris Como here and we're talking short game. Now around the greens, it's super helpful to be able to hit shots of different trajectories. A low one that runs out a little bit more, a high one that's softer, stops a little bit quicker. To really have a, a, a proper short game, you need to have a variety of shots in your arsenal. Now, I wanna talk about a relationship that I think is pretty neat. This is something that shows up over and over and over again. And we can get into a little bit of the why, but, but just, just know that, that you'll see this with a lot of great players when they're hitting different trajectory shots. Now, the relationship is that the closer and taller you are at address, so right now I'm gonna get really close to it, my hands are high, pretty tall standing, so the toe is into the ground, typically the lower the shots it's gonna come out. Okay, so I'm not gonna open the face, I'm gonna keep the face pretty square, and I'm just gonna be in this setup and really just sort of make what almost feels like a bit of a big putting stroke. Okay, came out middle, medium trajectory. So do another one, really tall. I'm gonna keep those wrists down, almost looking like Bryson DeChambeau at address. Okay, so it's on the, just on the lower side. Now, the farther away from, from the ball you are and the lower you get, the more inclined you are to hit sort of a higher shot. Now, face is still somewhat square, but I'm just gonna sit here, and that went straight up in the air. So we'll do another one. Just gotta get there, it was pretty high. Okay, so this is a relationship to play with. Now this is not even opening the face or anything. If we really wanna start playing with the leading edge of the face, we can get closer, feel like it's hooded in a little bit. That's a great way to hit a shot that comes out low and really has some run out to it. Sit down. And then if we wanna hit the high one, again, we can get lower with the hands, open the face a little bit. This is really gonna get the ball up in the air. So farther away and lower. Okay, so that had some nice height to it. Now, I'm not even doing anything with my setup. I'm trying to show you some, basically isolating everything else. That was not the proper setup for a high shot in terms of where my weight was or opening my stance a little bit. It was just saying, all is being equal, if I get everything lower and farther away, it's gonna have that tendency to help this club pass by quicker and have more lofted impact to hit it higher. And inversely, if I get closer and taller, the tendency is gonna be not to release it as much and to really kind of keep the loft down on the club and hit a shot that's lower with some more run out. Now there's all other sorts of variables you can mix in there, but just to understand that relationship as you're building yourself a great short game, play with that, play with that relationship as well as introducing other things and you'll start to really understand the ingredients that go into the recipe of a low shot, a high shot, whatever the, vari whatever the different variations are. So just to play with that relationship, I think can really help you get on the way to building that, that very robust, well-rounded short game that I know we all desire. Try that out next time you practice. I think it's gonna really help.